Oh, you hit go? Yeah. Where's this mic at? Right there, don't worry about it. How am I supposed to call that? I can't call now. Do you want to call? I'm saying Casey. I was supposed to call her. That's what I hung up for. Hurry up! Ward, hurry up! <laughs> Oh, Paula just said that uh, they wanted us all to. Did you touch them? Just now? No, I'm not saying it's nothing, but he said uh, yeah. all of us together and do one that? big live stream for like 30 minutes or something. I said, okay, whatever. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, I can do the live stream. Yeah. So, still in. So I thought a couple of my best friends happened to come to Vegas this weekend totally unrelated to us being here. So it's totally on the weekend. Yeah, 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 yeah, man, for sure. I'll just call you in a little bit. And it makes the motion points. Just like next to Frankie's. You make that phone call last night? Actually, I did. I bet it was. <laughs> All right, so is it buffering? Can you guys hear? See? Notifications come out. Hold on, guys. You have no idea who I am. I was going to watch all your videos. Oh, thank you. Patrick. Patrick. Uh, nice to meet you. I just wanted to get the picture of you guys. Yeah. No problem. You're, 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 you're getting out of the way of the camera. Oh. Where's the camera back here? Where's the camera, Bob? Sitting. Oh, okay. I didn't know you guys were here. They, um, yeah, they said it was coming. I don't remember that. Yeah. Talk to Steve. Yeah. Better now. Take a picture me. Want me to do it? Hold on. You have no idea who I am, but I'm always in your live. I'm always in your live, but I don't want to talk too much. You got to talk. Ready? <laughs> There you go. Great to meet you. Yeah. All right, guys. Sorry, I had to take a picture. To the new bill. He built it for me. Really? He built one. I'm in tune. Much better now. Give a second. It seems like it's slow. They're gonna make something else for him, but it's at a later date. Can't tell the camera. I'm gonna tell. No, don't tell. Good to be you. You too. So how you guys doing? <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> so if we get some more people to hop on, then We'll do a little tour, walk around, that kind of stuff. How's everybody doing? How's your day? <laughs> Let me know, guys. <laughs> it's like ever since earlier it's like weird yeah i have no idea hey <laughs> Where you going, huh? let's see i got an idea is it working okay i'm not seeing any chat 
It's the famous Cardi B lyric, gotcha. I think I have seen you say that before. Yeah, I think there's no notification going out. That must be... I just wouldn't want to be the one at the bottom. We were at the bottom. I blew my back out. We got stuck. So. Well, I will just flip this around and I'll just start walking around. <laughs> so how are you guys doing? Say hi if you're here, if you're watching. Make sure you hit that thumbs up. It looks like no notification went out, so it's probably why it looks so slow or something. Hi, Reef Keeper. How are you? I'm trying to get my phone back in my pocket. And then we're going to walk around. I think it's almost going on 5 o'clock, like the last hour for today. And we're going to be leaving tomorrow morning, so this is like it for us as far as the show. Um, our flight leaves at 9.30 in the morning. So we have to be at the hotel by 7.30. Um, for us to make it home by 4.30. And, yeah, it's going to be rough because I know we're going out tonight sightseeing and all this. So it's going to make for a late night. Last night we didn't get in until 4 a.m. It was crazy. So I'm going to flip this around. Magna is good. <laughs> Can you guys hear me okay? I have this mic on, so hopefully it cuts out some of the noise and you guys can actually hear me better. Um, Magna is good. The facility here, I don't know if you could tell. So this is me standing on one end. It's a big room. So of course it makes it seem like maybe there's, you can't really tell the amount of people because of how big the room is basically, but it's good. The Mexican um, was good. It was like limited choices. It wasn't like an actual Mexican restaurant per se. I want so you had limited choices, but it was good. If you guys see something you want me to stop, let me know. Zoomed booth. We have current. Reef 503. Yeah. I don't know if you're trying to troll or if you're being whatever, but there's a 10 year age difference between us. So. Yeah, that's. You get the PE pellets and flake food and. But so far, of course, we got the Reef Nutrition booth. Booth. I know. I every time there's a show, I always film it. Got all the different bottles of foods and stuff. Walking. Of course, we got Triton. Your ICP stuff. Castle booth. Of course, everything looks really blue. 
Synergy Wreath. Looks like this, I would assume, is this. Some pretty big display there. And you guys, is the chat working or are you guys just not saying anything? Let me know. Yeah, see, I don't really know what's new and what's not, but <laughs> maybe that. There's a sign, A80. Tuna blue and tuna sun. Chat working fine. Okay, perfect. If you guys forgot to hit that thumbs up button, if you can please do that, that would be great. It says we have two thumbs up. The j lights. Well, we're going to make our way around and we'll see. Um, hey, Sherry, how are you? We're back. We went and had some food and made it back. Got the Coral View booth. <laughs> Jabo makes lights now. I don't know. Tony S., I guess. They do. Because he said he wants to see them, so he must know something that maybe we don't. Yeah, they got to it good. It's not our age. That's what I heard are at the show. Okay. Things pretty tall, huh? Kimmy Pure products. Aqua FX. We actually leave in the morning, so this is our last last hour. Fifty-two minutes. <laughs> hey, Tina, how are you? Any news on when Trident is coming out? So, to be honest with you, I know nothing about Trident. I don't even know what that means, but for whatever reason, I keep hearing people talking about it, and they keep talking about how... It got pushed back another year. Does that make sense to anybody? So, I don't know if you guys have seen these things before, but they are very cool. So that's a frag, like a sealed frag holder, container, whatever you want to call it for your frag. So when you're at the show, if you're shopping and you purchase frags, pretty cool idea that somebody came up with. Yeah, so... That's what I heard far as far as that goes. If that's correct. Frag racks. <laughs> Eye candy. The Yenostella is two hundred. Two hundred? Yes. Yeah, it's actually open over the plugs. Is it, is fully it open. open though? Fully open? That one is not fully open. Frag bowls, is that what you're trying to say, Tina? 
I bought so many jawbreakers last year at Magna, it's like they all missing. <laughs> all missing. <laughs> Yeah, so because it's too much light, it's too much uh, flow. Too much flow. Yeah. Did you ever find it? What? Did you ever find it? Like, probably made 300 all the time. Wow. That sucks. But I like the mushroom and I like the rufolia and the rufolia. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Um, let's see, Soren, I was wondering if you could try FO tank with solar salt crystals, please. I have no idea what that means. I'm walking around showing everybody the show, um, so I might not be able to answer certain questions because I don't know. Enrico is not walking with me, he is somewhere else. So... Yeah, I don't know what solar salt crystals is. We got Jason Fox booth. Yeah, if you guys can help them out, that'd be great because I have no idea. It's a bounce mushroom right there. Um. <laughs> Reef 503, if you were asking about my tank, my tank is doing good, it's cycling. Not too much going on with it right now. The last video you guys saw is the last that I did with it, so that's where we're at. Once I get home, it's going to be a slow process. I, um... With school back up and stuff, it's just a lot going on. But obviously, we also know in this reefing hobby that nothing good happens fast anyway. So, instant ocean or reef crystal salt. <laughs> Trolling. Kent Marine products, Marine Flakes. So I seen, here I am, um, when I say this, gonna sound like a, a true hobbyist, I guess. I, I already saw another tank that I want. <laughs> Love to show you guys. Super cute. But I need to work on this one first. <laughs> JBJ booth. They've of course got all the all-in-one nano tanks. I think it depends on how you start your tank up as far as how long you cycle. And what you use and all that stuff. It's the cutest. It's a little tank and it is so cute. So what I was told far as my tank, since I only used one piece, it's not an upgrade. It's actually smaller than what I the other one that I got. I just really <laughs> like it. Um, what was I going to say? From what I was told, that technically because I used that one piece of live rock out of Rico's system and put it in the back of mine, that technically my tank is already cycled. So, I don't know. A lot of this stuff is new to me, even though, yes, I've been around the hobby for a long time, but all the in and outs and questions, I don't know, so. Uh, 
So we got... Again, guys, if you can... Technically, yeah. So I'm sure if you start with none of that and you just start with the dry, then it probably takes longer. Look at this crazy looking tank. This thing is like, it's angled on the, the side, I guess. It's crazy looking. Two weeks. Yeah, I'm probably not going to add any of that, um, I don't know, there was one of the guys at the booth that gave me something, I don't have it with me and told me to put it in to help with the cycle, but we'll see, but this guy's, where are we going, go somewhere? I know, Lisa, the notification did not go out. Ever since earlier when DC was playing around, saying what he was saying, I don't know, it's been acting funny. So every time he shut it down and went back, and it's been acting weird ever since. So I hope it didn't do anything to it, but a notification didn't go out. But look how cute this is. This is the other... So now that I'm so-called addicted, this is what I want. It's a 20 gallon and it's a little drop off and I'm obsessed with it. I think it's the cutest thing ever. Like seriously. It's tiny but it's never too late. I can just do another one. <laughs> so far everybody has been behaving we shall see go Dan what up if I hear your now that you came in let me let me say this if I hear your name one more time while I'm in Vegas I'm gonna flip out no Everybody want to know about some Than. Everybody want to know why Than's not here. Where's Than at? Did he come to the show? Than this, Than that. I guess we're Than's keepers. No. <laughs> oh, too funny. Title Gardens in the house. So this is the innovative marine booth. Better question is why are they right? Because they know we know, I guess, if you're here or not here. It's just funny. You gotta come so then they just can find you and ask you, see? How was your trip? Are you on your trip still? Oh, what do I got? Aquarium safe, rubbers, plastic, foam, and adhesives. So it's like a lot of the fake coral. I don't know much about any of that stuff. But I'm at home doing laundry. Isn't that what it is? Yeah. Oh, we got the Marine Pure Blocks and those products. Yeah, Soren, I honestly don't know. Oh, you were asking Lisa. She doesn't know either, she said. We got that. I think we did a video on that at one of the other shows. The, the pump. Wave maker. I've seen that tank used for 350, the 20 gallon. Yeah. 
I think it runs about 400 or so, I think. I have no idea. Try any new or interesting products? Than I have no idea. <laughs> I'm not the um, the expert to be doing this. I'm just giving everybody a tour, and then when any questions they have, I can't answer them. <laughs> um, nobody going to record the speakers. Yeah, I don't know. We didn't actually go in any of the talks, so. And then on top of that, like Than is saying, I don't think you're allowed to even film them because the show normally has certain people that come in to record it so it's like that one person and that's it kind of deal uh, hijacking <laughs> I've had people come up a couple people come up to me and say Oh, I watch your channel. I love your channel and this, this, and that. And I said, it's not my channel, <laughs> but thank you. He said, Jamie, you're at J. Will Booth. Look for lights. Where? This one where I'm standing? Or did I pass it up? last one um, oh let me see I did pass it let me go back LED aquar aquarium light so we got the pumps you are famous now no I, um, I don't want to be famous I, I I don't like the spotlight. I like the behind the scenes and it made me want to not do another video, <laughs> to be honest. I don't know, but I will, but I guess it just takes getting used to. But I still said, this is not my channel. This is Rico's channel. Are these new lights that you guys just came out with? Um, yes, but they haven't, uh, they are not in the market, but they've used maybe in the market. A month? Yeah. Okay. Where I'm live on YouTube, we have a YouTube channel, and somebody was asking that you guys were coming out with lighting, <laughs> and so I was trying to find that out. So here are the lights, and they will be on the market probably in a month. Yes. So... Let me know if, and how much are the lights running? Um, only they, they have the, uh, six different colors. Six different colors. Yes. Okay. So like price point, uh, sorry? the price point for the lights? Um, I don't have right now. You don't have it? Yeah. They're, they're okay. Really so they don't have the price yet since they're not out. Let me see. All right. No other questions right now. Okay. Well, thank you very much. So basically, just look for it in approximately a month that they'll have access to being able to purchase. Okay. They're free. <laughs> yeah. So I don't know. Hopefully that helped you guys. There's the AK80 and AL series. So yeah. If they're coming out in a month, you definitely have to have the price. You should already know it. Especially the people here at the show is going to say, well, how much is this going to cost? But anyways. She doesn't know. She doesn't know. She probably just doesn't know. I'm assuming somewhere okay it is what it is we got the Carib Sea booth some of their rock if 
you have to ask, you can't afford it. <laughs> Not necessarily, but you kind of want to know price point. Um, to compare it to like, I would assume the other lights that are on the market to see, you know, what you want to go with type thing. If those are close to the more expensive lights, then I would think maybe, or not more expensive, but maybe the more n name brand that you might go that way. AK80 is on Amazon selling for $259. What's your favorite thing so far? Um, my favorite thing so far is probably the innovative marine 20 gallon drop off that I looked at and I want one. Dan's cat used the computer. So we got Coast Tropicals. That's funny. Got some fresh water. Mike the Reefer, what up, eyeballs? Hey, Sandy. You guys are slowly trickling in. No notification went out, so. Hey, Blue Carbon. Oh. The new Jesse light. What is that? We got a big old eel. I need to see more. Got the Elos booth. I know Rico mentions them sometimes because he's got some of their product. Run around everything. <laughs> Anything new from Reef Bright? I don't know. We'll have to look and see. We got Julian Sprung's booth. Zet light, whatever that is. I guess some type of lighting, right? <laughs> Show us the new Kessel light. I think I already went through Kessel. So you might have to, I'm sure we'll leave this stream up and you can go back and check it out. The show's ending in like within, I think probably like 45 minutes now. So I won't have time to like backtrack on anything I already went through if I'm trying to get through this whole thing before it shuts down. Some pretty cool tank setups. I thought this one was kind of cool with that, the white, I don't know what you call that. Like an antique wood type of look. Can you go to Ecotech? I have not gone to them yet and they're right there. Oh, uh, let's see. Ordered your stand, that's awesome. Who did you end up whitewashed? Perfect, there you go. Who did you go with, um, Sandy? So here's an Ecotech. I mean, set up. This is some of the we'll do a hangout when you're done. Alrighty, Dave. How are you? Eco Tech makes couches. Framing tech. Awesome. Ask 
Are they coming out with skimmers? Um, what are these? What are these, guys? I have no idea. Those are reactors. Okay. Well... So these are skimmers, are they? Not? I know I already showed them. Is this something new? You guys would know more than me. Time to hit the bar. I ask Ecotick if they have any new products coming out. Alright, I'm sorry I got backed up on the chat. New coffee pot, remember? Ends up on YouTube, that's hilarious. Um, got both guys are busy right now. So I can try to come back. It's the Neptune booth. Um, Than, yeah. Those are new. Okay. Jamie, we're going to try to go next year. Awesome. Rico, I don't know where he is. I never normally do. He's always wherever, all over. Or actually, he's literally like, he stands in one spot. He's like, okay, let's go here. He takes three steps, runs into somebody else, and starts talking. Another three steps, runs into somebody else. It's like, he doesn't move much. And the room is not that great, Than. So, yeah, I wish you would have told me it was a little ew before because it was, it's not great. We definitely should have stayed somewhere else. You did? I, maybe you told him because I don't remember hearing that. <laughs> I'm going next year because it's in Disney, yeah? The place looks pretty awesome. Where it's going to be. Who takes care of the tanks when you are gone? Um, right now, nobody is doing anything with the tanks, to be honest. Um... I literally bring my own sheets when I stay at a Ricardo. It's <laughs> all so nice. I'm backed up. Hold on. Yeah. Um, the bl the sheets are okay. The blanket is there's like basically no blanket on the bed, literally. And if it if you call it a blanket, it's the thinnest blanket I ever seen. Um, and then the bathtub is filling up with water. The sink is dripping. Yeah, the TV like went out and I had to turn it off and turn it back on. It's just not very good. But then the rest of the hotel is pretty good. I think they just need to put some work into their rooms and getting it back up to par. Because the rest of it's nice. There's a lot to do here. Yeah. It is really close. It's nice. You don't even have to leave the building. But. Reef of Palooza 2019. We are moving to a new location. Some of you guys probably know that already. The Renaissance Orlando for next year. New York. California has a new venue as well. And then Chicago. Coral wear clothing. I need to come back and get something from here. I always see these guys walking around with these clothes and stuff. Super cute. Very, very cool. Swimming trunks with seahorses. I like it. Um, let's see. Sherry, the 300 gallon will be here in January. I just ordered the stand, should be here in three weeks. Cool. On the end, what do we have here? Law Office Aquariums. There's not. Are they? That's awesome, Dan. 
I really like their stuff. I don't know if you guys can see very well and on top. Go down the next aisle. Yeah, everybody was talking about their staying. I don't even know where they said. Magna 2019, where would it be? It's so it's in Disney in Florida. The Swan and Dolphin Resort or something like that it's called. There's the Hannah booth. Hanging out. <laughs> so Rico uses all their products which you guys probably already know and if you don't they're awesome and easy to use love Hannah does anybody know if they doing an expo like this one in Atlanta for next year um I have no clue well I guess Here's all the little Nemo's. I know we need some more thumbs up, don't we? Upside down fish tank. Lisa, 69 watching, 26 yeah, thumbs up. Stand underneath it, and it sits in the middle of your pond, and the tank is elevated above the water level, and the fish can actually swim up into it. Then you got. Sorry, they're Nemo's to me. <laughs> That's a lot of Nemo's. Yeah, it is. Thanks for the thumbs up, love. We need, we need thumbs up, love. This has been a pretty cool hangout. I don't know if you guys have seen these guys, and I don't even want to try to say Coraleros, if I'm saying that correctly. They've kind of just had this almost as like a little hangout spot. I'm not really sure what they do technically, but yeah. All right, we've got Rod's food. We got Bubble Magus, if I said that right. Chat, can we get some thumbs? Nemo's of all races, yes. <laughs> D from Brooklyn, thank you. I do gotta find me a t-shirt so I'm a I'm a huge uh, t-shirt girl and I didn't want to pay for a bag so I we got the ruby red booth I just brought like a small carry-on and I didn't bring nothing comfortable I brought all stuff like going out so I need to snatch up a t-shirt from somewhere cuz I'm over the dressing up <laughs> I actually have a dress on today with my tennis shoes. So, eye catching coral. I found out that we are on the same flight with one of the guys is leaving in the morning when we leave and Than, they're not at the booth, but I will tell them if I see them. So, I you know, you, Lisa, you think you want to be fancy until you get here and you're fancy and then you're like, man, I need my comfortable stuff back on. I need my pajama pants. <laughs> I'm over it already, you know. <laughs> of course, we got the amazing Fritz people. We went out. Go fancy. <laughs> We went out with Sean and a group of people last night. We were actually at um, a house party. Uh, what's the guy's name? Jimmy from Tanked. Tell me if that's right. You guys probably know. Um, yeah, it was pretty crazy. His house was packed. He opened it up and did a house party for Macna, basically. And we went over there. It was a lot of fun. And then after that, we went to Fremont. I know, Than, I can never be on your level. I don't know how you do it. Yoga pants and a t-shirt. Yes, for sure. 
Yeah, it was a house party. So we got to go. We got to see his tanks. It was pretty cool, guys. We got Reef Builders booth. Polyp Lab. Yeah, so funny story we got literally didn't get in until about four o'clock in the morning and we were hungry or so we thought we were hungry buttery smooth yeah I didn't bring any um, I was literally ordering the pizza falling asleep on the phone and the ladies going hello <laughs> like, that should have been my clue to just not stop ordering at that point, but I didn't. And I continued to order, and then we were sleeping by the time they got there. So they're calling us to go down and get the pizza. I brought the pizza up. We both took like one bite, put it down, and fell out. Went right back to sleep. Totally wasted the pizza. Didn't even need it. So funny. Let's see. Dan would wear an Armani suit in a swimming pool. <laughs> need to go get with DC after what he said last stream. No, I'm I'm good on that. The chat will take the leftovers. Yeah, they're still sitting in the room. That's the other thing. We don't have a refrigerator don't have a microwave so any food like we ate out and had leftovers and there it's a waste because there's nothing you can't put them anywhere and you can't heat them up so yep I feel like I hear my husband somewhere Look, I bet you. I don't know, maybe I'm wrong, but I swear I hear him. <laughs> maybe not. Let's see. Um, I think I need a coffee. Yeah, that room sucks. What hotel is that? Oh, that's at the Westgate. I don't think DC was actually messed up. He was just being really silly, but he was like over the top, we'll just say. So we got Worldwide Corals booth. If it has been sitting out for more than four hours, I wouldn't eat it. Exactly. And we weren't... DC's last t-shirt he had on was too cute. Every shirt he's had on has been crazy. You guys thought you heard him too, see? So I wasn't going, oh look, he's right there, right in front of me. So maybe I did actually hear him from over there. You guys are funny, I hear him. I spy Rico. I don't think he spies us. <laughs> DC spotted us. Should I stand here and see how long it takes before he turns around? I'm probably going to put fish in when I get home. So I already have two. Well, three, I think, that I want to put. I'll be putting out a video to ask you guys about one of them. Uh, you'll find out soon. I'll put it out. I got to get your guys' opinion on it. Jellyfish. Everybody asking about you. I think she's kind of like, eh. Let's see. Sorry, DC distracted me. We've got the Brightwell Aquatics booth. Ocean Nutrition. I 
they sold designer clowns very cheap the last day at Reef of Palooza. Hmm. No idea. We got the Cobalt Aquatics booth. That's what my question is about that I have to ask you guys is about the, as I say, Nemo's. Oh, here's Reef Bright. Somebody asked. We're live on YouTube. Hello. Somebody had asked if you guys have anything, any new products coming out. Uh, we have our uh, Lumalite Pro. Just coming out. Maybe I'll come closer. Oh, sorry. I had these surgeries on me. No, that's okay. That way they can hear because I have a mic on myself. All right, guys. So we're at the Reef Bright booth. Say what you said again. Our new Lumalite Pro is coming, has come out. That's new. Okay. And that's the fixture over here. This one here. That one there. Alrighty. And what is it different, I guess? What's different from that to the other? Well, it doesn't have the intensity of our XHO. Okay. But it is twice the output of our original Luma Light. Okay. Alright, do you guys have any questions? I know somebody asked earlier, but I don't know if they're still here. I'm blind. <laughs> By the lights, I know. <laughs> so, sorry. Nice. That's okay. Does it dim down, somebody asked? You can use a manual dimmer or can be hooked with an apex. Okay. And we will have a our own controller coming out in about two months. And okay. you'll be able to use that. Very cool. Any other questions, guys? I am not a professional interviewer by no means. <laughs> That's okay. I usually leave this to Tuli all over me. <laughs> yeah. um, Rico can't take more than five steps without stopping and talking to people, so he wouldn't do very good at this. <laughs> so. I was like, I need Tuli over to talk about the Tulio went to return the equipment. Here he comes. He'll be here tomorrow. I won't be here. I got to leave in the morning. Oh, yeah. He had to go return the equipment. Sorry. Well. What? Can you kind of talk about the product? or oh, what? The new or whatever you guys have, you were saying? The new like, controller? Yeah. Let Joy talk about that real quick. So people are always we'll stay right here for a second then. Because she just talked about that I light. about the new Luma Light Pro. Okay. I told them we do have a new controller coming out in about two months. It will be both Android and Apple there availability. They um, can take a quick look here. It's currently off because it was set to shut off tonight at uh, 5.30. Mm -hmm. So basically, you set your set points on it when you want it to turn on, to what intensities when you want it to shut off. I can do a little simulation to it. Um, it goes over a 24-hour period, and they can see through the light. And unfortunately, it goes through a full 24 hours right. simulation. Okay. So it should turn on about 10 o'clock in the morning is what we have it set at there right now. So you can see it's quick. I'm going to blind you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> price? The They're price, asking. we're looking at an approximate map of about 150 Okay. So, and then you do have the option of if your lights are turned off like it is now, let's cancel that go back you can override and you can manually say you have company come over after mm -hmm. your lights are out and you want to put the blues on you can override it okay to turn just that on it'll stay on as long as you want that way then you hit back it'll so, go back to your original settings and you don't have to mess with any of your settings you said wow that's right yep yeah. yes it is <laughs> Nice. So that's what we're looking at for our controller of our lights. Oh, Title Gardens. Yeah, he's I'm, been hanging out with us in here. <laughs> somebody wanted to, who, who said, asked, uh, somebody wanted to talk to, hey, what's up, Dan? Okay, so that's basically what it's going to be. All right, All well, right. thank you thank so you, much. All right. You guys, you know Reef Bright's this shizness. 
Make sure you guys get a hold of Tulio or Joy Reef Bright and get your Reef Bright strips. People, stop playing around. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Yeah, I told Dan, here, can you put this back on? I told Dan that, um... What'd you tell Dan? That basically, everybody wants to know where Dan is. Oh, yeah. And everybody I, asked I, us a hundred times, where's I Dan? I told him, I told everybody, I said, listen. He said, why they ask you guys? <laughs> I said, the answer's no. It's Mr. No. And maybe I can get him at a later date. But he had a, uh, a trip that was a lot better than the show. Yeah. So, yeah. You want to talk to Dan, DC? Hot Yo. one challenge? Dan. Oh, hold on. This live? We on, oh, we on YouTube. What's up? <laughs> Who's that? Hey, Lisa. Um, oh, Sandy. Is that Sandy? Sandy Reese? Uh huh. What's up, Dan? We living our out. best life out here. Did y'all see my skydiving picture? Keep it clean, DC. <laughs> no, no, I'm not gonna talk about the white substance that we supposedly were doing. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, everybody? Yeah, now the notifications ain't going out. It's probably your fault. Hey, you got um, 62 people watching. Dope. Did y'all see my skydive? Trying to get Rico and Jamie to skydive with me. Rico ain't doing it. Rico back, bro. broke YouTube. <laughs> That's the new hashtag. Okay, I need Rico and Trisha. <laughs> I need you to go over there. Have you tried the bomb yet? What is that? What's the bomb? Uh -uh. Come on. Is that a walk. drink? Is that a drink, Dan? And Ooh. then Reefkeeper said he was Haylots, man. He was asking about SB Reef Lights. My best life. I don't know. <laughs> this is Jamie's new YouTube channel now. <laughs> the Jamie Show. <laughs> the bomb equals hot sauce. Ooh. Hey. Oh, you're talking about Come the hot one challenge. Yeah. Tell I everybody. Haven't, I haven't tried the bomb yet. Uh, Vic is man. here. Everybody tell Vic. Worldwide Wild Corals. Cool. He got the Watch boxes and stuff right, going guys. out. Make sure you guys <laughs> check them out. They're doing live, big live. things. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Thanks. I'm gonna hang out with Jamie for a bit, yeah. Send Jamie us said. some coral. I need an extension instead of my arm. I know, you need that. What a selfie stick at? I don't know. The gimbal's in the hotel room. That thing, the uh, battery goes dead on it, don't I don't know. I don't use it enough. All right, so we're taking a trip to Reef Nutrition. Um, if they got something, you probably get it. Rico interrupted our tour. You got any questions for DC? Do y'all want to know what we was doing behind the scenes here in Vegas? I can't tell y'all because what happened in Vegas stay in Vegas. No, <laughs> wait, like somebody said what happens in Vegas ends up on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> what happens in Vegas ends up on DC YouTube channel. <laughs> oh, that was funny. <laughs> We're gonna um, interview. Or what? Show the, show the product. How many of you guys ask? I was plane jumping. Awesome, awesome, Sandy. Um, it's like flying, like a bird. I had to, that was the best experience of my life. Skydiving. Everybody should do it. Did your mom message you back yet? Mom, nope. I sent my mom a text message. I didn't tell her that I went skydiving. I just sent her a text message with me in the air, and she hasn't texted me back yet. I, I think I lost a mother. Like, <laughs> I, I need somebody to adopt me. I need a new mommy. That's great. Yeah, Dan. Right. Dan, why you didn't come, man? We miss you, bro. I'll come back. Interview time. Yeah, we got a little mic that we're using. Came Is the audio good? Can y'all hear us? Came up cool? in the world a little. Next time. Dan, we really, really got to work on this because oh, we really need you to attend and hang out with us on these adventures. He will if we're driving. Or if it's <laughs> only one can get paid. Or, out the house is Rico. Or I, I'll get us paid our stuff paid and covered. Okay, then I can get yeah. Yeah, this is something I think CJ told him about a while back. This little mic. Oh, yeah, the lapel. lapel. Does it work good? Yeah, they all say it sounds good. Real good, huh? Uh, I mean, I mean, uh, 
They ain't got a lot of people on there. Uh oh, Sanjay's here. Yeah, I'm not. We're waiting for Sanjay. Okay. We'll see. Ask him that they want to talk to him. I will travel if A, someone else drives, or B, is going to another country. <laughs> there you go. Only if somebody else drives or we're going to another Sanjay, come here. <laughs> the people on YouTube. Are... Oh. oh. They just wanted to say hi to you. I can say hi. I can say hi. There hey, you go. YouTube. Now leave them alone. <laughs> leave us alone. Yeah, He's I gotta busy. go enjoy some beer and go meet some more people. <laughs> All right, so Where's Mike Paletta at? He's never here. When Sanjay's here, Mike's never here. Period. When it's Mike's funny, here, yeah. Sanjay's never here. Period. They said that's 600 gallons. Yeah, that yeah, thing is crazy looking. Yeah. Who, who gonna clean it? Who, how you gonna work on that? Uh, that thing is... Alright. Uh, you wanna and check out trip. these uh, Mashi sumps? I was already over oh, here already looking. Did but I didn't say anything about it, but I showed it. Well, Let's see. Did you okay. see the new castle? Like Thanks, Sandy. All right, we'll go back over a reef nutrition. You know who else we met? Seahorse Whisperer. Yeah, she Great was a fun. lot of fun. <laughs> oh, that was Jimmy back there. DC, you really should have came to that last night. I didn't know about it. You didn't? I saw y'all going out, but I didn't know y'all was going. I was trying to, you know, listen to you so you're going to have to go through it again. Yeah. How you doing, man? How are you? Oh, shit. <laughs> yeah, right before we get ready oh, for yes, the bench. That's right. right. Yeah, we're over three minutes. So, you guys got any new products on? So, yeah, the, yeah, the newest product. The, uh, so, show everybody. We're live on YouTube. Oh, yeah, okay, everybody. <laughs> How's it going? <laughs> Do a little clip here. Oh, that's Chad for you guys. Yeah. Hi, everybody. Nutrition. So, if you guys got questions for Chad, she's going to talk about some new products he got out. So, we'll let Chad go ahead and talk. All right. Let me get my flashlight out on my phone. So, yeah, this is our, this is our newest product. It's the uh, Apex Pods, um, Apocyclops Panamensis. We pack, uh, you know, close to three to four thousand per bottle. There's actually females in here that are carrying eggs. There's males. They're reproducing. They're producing babies. So, so this is another ideal copepod for increasing biodiversity in an aquarium. Um, you know, alongside with the tigger pods, the Tigriopus californicus. It's also a species that we're looking to get more into aquaculture. People that are breeding, you know, like dwarf angels and. And, uh, and wrasses and clownfish. Copepods are a really good first food item for those larval fish. And so this is an organism that is not only gonna be good for hobbyists, for increasing biodiversity and feeding finicky fish like mandarin dragonets, but people can also aquaculture this organism and feed them to larval fish. Uh, and so it's really, it's really opening up more doors and more opportunities for working with larval fish species that have been previously hard to do because of the bottleneck of not having the right live feed organisms. And so these are the things that we do at Reed Mariculture. We culture live feed organisms that not only translate into the hobby, but can also be useful in aquaculture. And so that's why we work with live rotifers and multiple species of copepods. And, uh, and we're the backup source for those organisms. So, so it's really cool to be a part of that. And so that's what I've been focusing on for the last three years. The demand has actually been overwhelming for these apex pods. So, so we've actually had to expand production um, all while trying to find the, the easiest ways to culture these animals and pass all those protocols on and information on to fish farmers all over the world so that they can replicate these systems and have better success. Um, they, they, they always say the joke is increase the odds with copepods. Um, copepods are as good as it gets as far as a live feed animal. Um, they contain all the right things, the right composition of, of enzymes and amino acids and fats. Uh, and so when, when a marine organism eats these things, they gain a lot of nutrition from them. So, well, so yeah. what I need to put in my tank for you that. Can get you a <laughs> um, so they want to know, um, ask him which bottle is the best, the best seller? seller and price point on that bottle as well. The one that's the best seller are the Tigger Pods and I think I got enough. Yeah, yeah, you got enough. So yeah, this these are the Tigger Pods. This is our this is our top seller. Um, we were one of the first companies to bring copepods into the hobby and this was our this was our flagship copepod product. This is our best seller. Um, we just recently added 50% more per bottle and as you can see, you know, it's quite obvious, it's very dense. You can see these animals and uh, uh, a lot of people use these to feed to mandarin dragonets, 
or even cycling a new tank. Uh, there's, there's these guys that call it the bug bomb method, mm -hmm. where they add copepods to a tank, they feed them phytoplankton, they help cycle the tank. Because these animals can tolerate ammonia, they can tolerate very high uh, nitrite, they can tolerate low di dissolved oxygen. It's basically one of those animals that we like to work with. It's very hardy, very tough. Um, and so it's, it, these are ideal organisms for aquaculture. I love their product. What's Thank you. The shelf life? Yeah, what's the shelf oh, oh yeah, so, so the shelf life of these guys, I mean, you're looking at any, up to six weeks, as long as you keep them refrigerated. This is an organism that is urethermic, so it can handle a wide range of temperatures. You know, near freezing temperatures, all the way up into the mid to upper 80s. Um, we culture this, this, these guys all year round, um, but we use that cold tolerance to our advantage. So putting them in the cold, keeping them cold, slows down their metabolism, keeps them from um, using up all their energy reserves. Uh, it also keeps a lot of oxygen in the water. So colder the water, the more oxygen content is in there. So when you see these in a refrigerator in a retail store, that's, that's why they, we keep them in the refrigerator, so they can hold on to them longer uh, until they get purchased and, and put into a tank. And the best way to add these to a tank, lights out, calm everything down, turn off all the pumps, all the wave makers, add them to the, add them to the tank, let them settle into the rock. So. Oh, and $25 is the minimum price for these, as well as the Apex pods. So any more questions for Chad? Or did we miss it? The man is it. Yeah. Got it all? They were saying, does somebody but actually count them? Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, so, so yeah, in, so in science, what we do is, is we take subsamples. So let's say you got a big container full of these guys. You take a one milliliter sample and we, we um, fix them on a glass slide. We look at them under a microscope. We count them all. You know, they're in one milliliter, one milliliter, milliliter of water. Sorry, it's been a long day. <laughs> and so we count them all. And then we, we multiply that times the volume, the, the number of milliliters in that volume. And so that's, that's the trick. And we usually do two or three counts and then take an average. Because there is some, there is some error when it comes to counting uh, organisms like this under a microscope. So. Of course. But yeah, that's just something we do, the scientific method. Awesome. TDOs has a long, no fridge shelf life. Yeah, I mean, TDO, yeah, it, we, we prefer you keep it in the refrigerator. But um, there are people that don't put it in the refrigerator and, and we hear that it does perfectly fine. But um, yeah, you're looking at a year shelf life at least if you're keeping it refrigerated. Uh, you know, we just prefer that, you know, it, it isn't exposed to warm temperatures. Um, you know, there's a lot of nutritional qualities in TDO that we'd like to, the, you know, we, we don't want those chemicals to, chemicals uh, and the composition of those things to change. Uh, you know, there's, there's components in there that oxygen can, can wreak havoc on. So that's why we have oxygen uh, absorbers and moisture absorbers and all that fun stuff. It says Chad knows his price. Good job. We appreciate that. Um, how often? Yeah. How, how often do you have to add them? How often do you have to add them to a tank? Yeah, that's that is like the million dollar question. <laughs> it, that is impossible to answer because every tank is different. Um, you know, the, it depends on the predators you have. You know, if you have mandarin dragonets, if you have anthias, these are these are hardcore zooplankton predators. Uh, you know, they, they uh, or wrasses, I mean, not anthias. Wrasses will go after them as well. Um, and so, so if you've got a lot of those predators and, and you're in a small tank, you know, anything less than 50 gallons, uh, those predators are going to wipe out copepods pretty fast. Uh, and so that's why a lot of people will hook up a refugium and, and get, you know, get a copepod population going in the refugium. Uh, but, if, but if you've got a tank's bigger than 55 gallons and you set it up with copepods in it and then start adding those predators, that's one of the best methods to do it. That way you've got an established population and then those predators can start eating them. And one, also another way to keep an, a good copepod population in a tank is to feed them, feed them microalgae. Um, but there's, there's some other things that are working against them. There's, you know, there's other predators, amphipods. A lot of you are familiar with these large little uh, shrimp-like guys that hitchhike in live rock, and amphipods will eat them. So to mitigate some of that competition, feeding them phytoplankton, small particulate feeds, it's a good idea. All right. Well, Thank you very appreciate much. Appreciate that. Tell, her, tell Jamie she needs a she couple, needs a couple of <laughs> Chad will take care of her. <laughs> <laughs> yep, we got it right here. <laughs> right. Appreciate it. Yeah, everybody, right on. Huh? Yeah, I just started the tank, so they're telling me I need to add stuff to it. You look good. Oh, thank you. Yep, we got you. Hey, get him. Get get Scott. Put Scott on the. Give Scott the mic. Give Scott the mic.
Let him talk about drop, how, drop what the he mic. thinks. Of. Are we live? <laughs> we live. <laughs> We're live. All right. We're live. You do a good watching. job on the videos. Huh? How's it going, everybody? Scott from Mile High Reapers. We are at MACNA 2018. This place is amazing. The showroom floor is now closed. The banquet will be held at 7 p.m. It was amazing. Everybody's got to leave unless you got one of these blue badges. <laughs> right? <laughs> So yeah, this, this place has been amazing. I've had so much fun, met so many people. I mean, just pe random people coming up, meet me, it's so much fun. Plus, everybody that I've ever seen on YouTube is here and it makes it so much fun. All the gear vendors are here. You get to talk to them, everything you wanted to know about the gear, it's right there. You can go up, you can see it, you can touch it, it's great. Tons of frag vendors. It is a lot of fun. Uh, so, DC Reaper. Hey, Scott. How's it going? Everything's great. I'm loving. How, how are you loving Magna? Loving it. My first time here in Vegas, and my first Magna. Um, and the first thing I did, I'm trying to get Scott to do it too. With skydive, so I couldn't do it. I mean, I'm scared. And you know what's funny is I used to paraglide. Yeah. I, I have a para. I still have my paraglider. I'd go take it out to Boulder, Colorado. We'd go fly off the hill. But still, skydiving scares the crap out of me. It was so, it was a breeze. So seven I, minutes. I'm. That's it. I'm envious. I, I don't think I could throw <laughs> myself out of the plane. So let's do a poll. If Scott should uh, <laughs> skydive, everybody put a thumbs up, and then we're just gonna troll him on his YouTube channel and just keep putting skydive emojis and airplanes and stuff on his YouTube channel. Yeah. So go check this guy out. Great YouTube channel. I love you. Yeah, love thank you. Doing, and man. yeah, check out DC. This is a lot of fun. <laughs> so, all right. I think it's time for Rico to take his phone back. <laughs> all right. How's it going, Rico? All right. How's it going? <laughs> it's going good. It's going. Hopefully, you guys are really enjoying the stuff we're bringing. Jamie's doing an awesome job going around, talking to people. We got DC. He, we we had to take a short break and get his medication from earlier. That was tripping. But yeah, he was tripping. But uh, Does Rico he's doing know good. the info on Trident? They asked earlier. Oh, uh, what about Trident? They pushing it back. Yeah, they pushing it back. So basically, they're scrapping it, uh, taking it back to the drawing board, and for maybe in another year they'll come back out with it. But they scrapped it. Hey. Yo. Oh, inappropriate reefers here. Okay, we can ask him what did he think about the show? Really different. Um, I feel like it's all about products, which is really interesting because like the, the shows I've been to so far has been a lot about corals, like swaps and stuff like that. So this is a different vibe, different feel. You mm -hmm. get a sense to, I feel like each booth sent out multiple uh, people that demand a booth versus just one or two. Uh, so you really get a chance to like learn more about the products. I think it's fantastic, it's different yeah. vibe. It's different vibe from the other ones I've been to. Yeah, I and I feel like so. I'm. I feel like I should wear like a suit here or something, man. It's pretty professional. <laughs> he said it. I didn't. That's, that's <laughs> what, you know, but you know, it's nice. So like we it. like the t-shirts. I like t-shirts. Yeah. Well, it's just like that. It's. It feels like it's pretty legit. <laughs> legit event. Well, we'll see you here shortly. Yeah. Where are you gonna be? Uh, house kitchen with Emily date night, and then I'll okay. see you guys at Freeman. I'll see you guys house later. Kitchen. So All let's right. find out who this young man is. Let's get him on camera. <laughs> so you want to come up here and talk to the mic? Tell people who you are. I'm Maverick Brown. So what do you think of the show, Maverick? I think it's fun. What What was the funnest part? I don't know. You don't know? Did you see any cool corals? Any cool equipment? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Cool what cool What stuff. What's your favorite coral? Frog spawn. Uh, you know what? I like frog spawn too. Mm -hmm. They're pretty awesome. They move real nice, and you know they got a nice flow. So that's awesome. You have a fish. Do you have a tank? What size? Okay. <laughs> All right. A one twenty, one hundred twenty gallons. That's a nice size. That's a nice size. So. Uh, when are you gonna have your own? Like a small one? You want to do a small I one? Know. I don't really want one. You don't? No. Why not? I just watch his. Uh, good man. You save your money that way too, right? To awesome. <laughs> so you want to tell anybody? Do you got a YouTube channel? No. Instagram, Facebook. All right. Take it easy, young man. All right. Well, that was All right. Funny. So we had the young people in here. You see how excited and enthused they are? It's awesome. Awesome. 
So is there anybody else you guys want to see? Uh-oh. There we go. When <laughs> <laughs> you back to the room, make sure you mess it. Oh, massage Jamie's feet. Oh, I know. <laughs> I, I need mine and my back. It's been a long show. Long show. The so, leaky faucet in the room. <laughs> let's go see. That's funny. Come on. Let's go see Steve real quick. Come on, DC. I just got invited to the bank. Stop. I wouldn't feel bad if I don't go. What? Scott just invited me to the bank. He just gave me a free bank. Oh. Uh, what's that Should say? Beef? Yeah, guess what? I'm good, sir. <laughs> You're eating beef for dinner? Uh, beef. Stop. That's really funny, actually. <laughs> Why does it say that? Can someone go and say hi to Rick at Synergy Re That's funny. DC done. Turn down. Please note that the show floor is now closed. Oh, you can start leave. making your way to the main reception area where there will be a dinner at 7. Oh, oh he's going to do a video on his channel. Yeah, we'll if you have right tickets. Now, so, you know. so we're going to leave this Do you want to do it live? Yeah. So you put that on Steve so they can hear Steve. We love this food. I love this food. Make, make a we got 70 people watching. Oh, this is live. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> You're on the well, spot. Well, the new food that uh, actually everybody's talking about right now is the new probiotic line that uh, we've come out with. And we're actually the only um, Aquarium fish food manufacturer that guarantees that a bacterial count on our probiotic line of 3 million um, bacterial count per gram of food. Um, we actually independently had these uh, batches tested and we're finding, you know, to have like six to nine million, but we're actually guaranteeing at least three million. Um, when we tested all the other foods out there that are on the market uh, at an independent lab, we actually found that there was very little bacteria, live bacteria, or almost none. So we decided to come out with a, a true probiotic food that actually is analyzed and, and made sure that we actually have live bacterial colony in there. We're, we're able to do that also with... Um, uh, a new process, uh, and we have it right on here. It's called a cold re-extrusion uh, technology. Um, heat actually kills the bacteria. So what we did was we came up with a technology that actually produces the food with very little heat, um, so that they're viable in our in our container. Um, we also um, now are are getting rid of any type of artificial preservatives, flavors, colors, or hormones. We never had any hormones in there, but you know, we're making an, an all-natural um, types of uh, um, food. It, so we're, we're kind of promoting the natural, um, organic kind of uh, lifestyle, you know, even in the fish food. Um, you'll also notice in the ingredients, we actually have not just one type of bacteria, probiotic bacteria, but we have six different types of bacteria. Um, bacteria that actually will help in the digestion and um, nutritional absorption of to actually utilize the, the high density of nutrition that's in the food so that it actually gets absorbed into the body um, better. Um, it also has waste uh, removing bacteria also, so um, it'll help clean the water column by um, having these bacteria actually, um, when, they, um, when they actually eliminate their waste product into the water column, it actually has bacteria that'll get rid of the nitrates and phosphates. So the more you feed the fish, the healthier they'll get because they're absorbing more nutrients. And the waste products will actually contain um, nitrate and phosphate reducing bacteria and remove the sludge and waste products in, in the water. So it actually helps in multiple ways. So the pro asked if the probiotic food is wet. No, it's a, it's a dry, um, dry pelleted food. It comes in several different grain sizes. It comes in 0.5 millimeter, one millimeter, um, two millimeter, and three millimeter. And it's available in, in you know, many container sizes. This is the smallest, and then this is 150, and then there's a 300, 600, and it also comes in a bucket size like that. Somebody else asked if, um, does this mean the food has a shorter shelf life? No, shelf life on this food, um, because of the way it's, it's packaged and, you know, you notice that it's got a dark, um, 
you can't actually see them, uh, the, the pellets. So it actually shields it from the UV rays and stuff. So the shelf life is about three years. So it's actually pretty good, as long as it's not exposed to high heat. So if you, you, know, you don't want to keep this in like a hot car in the sun, in the parking lot, because that'll actually kill the you know, bacteria. Food itself won't spoil, but it's the probiotic bacteria that you need to uh, make sure that is viable. Alrighty. You guys have any other questions? Or anything other product you want to share with us? The, um, so we're, we're doing a transitional phase right now from the original New Life Spectrum formula to our Natrox series. So the, the new line of Natrox is actually the same food, but with all natural ingredients, uh, meaning that we sourced all of our um, raw ingredients that are free of any preserv artificial preservatives such as um, ethoxyquin, and we actually have, a <laughs> what's that? It's this, yeah, so the, the source material, instead of it coming um, you know, in a preservative, it actually comes in a vacuum sealed form, so you know, it's, it stays fresh. Um, and we actually advertise that in our um, literature um, to be all natural. And you'll see this, um, this is kind of small, but you'll see the Natrox symbol, right? Where is that? Yeah, enhanced formula right there. And so that's how you'll know that it is the new um, Natrox formula. It'll, it'll say the enhanced formula. How would we be able to buy that food? <laughs> so right now, um, you can go to your local stores that are carrying it, um, but if you can't find it in your local stores, then you can try online. So online, you know, you just type type New Life Spectrum Natrox series and then you'll, you'll see many places selling it. Yeah. yeah. All right. Well, thank you so much. You're welcome. I don't see any other questions at this moment, so. Okay. I will, I will give you your mic back. We, got, we grabbed you because you were about to walk out yeah. the building. <laughs> yes. Where are you guys going to dinner? Okay. All right. Well, thank you. Enjoy your dinner. We'll see you back at home because <laughs> we're leaving in the morning. It's cold there now, right here. Is it? Yeah, rainy and it's Yeah, there's like a flood warning or something so uh, all right hi. hello hi Anne. how are you Anne, nice to meet you? you yeah i saw you on video so <laughs> i came with Devin, uh, but he left already okay yeah so uh, reef do guy awesome and then, uh, i saw inappropriate having met with him i caught, saw scott uh from uh yeah Maha. a lot of youtubers here yeah, yeah it's good. we're live hey. on youtube <laughs> nice to meet so awesome Canada. Yeah. yeah. All right. Yeah, guys. Hi, you too. The rain from the hurricane is bad. Heart attack grill. <laughs> you guys. We're doing interviews and people. Oh, anyways. <laughs> My fish finally started eating that. Jamie for media award for coverage. That's funny. Kitchener. <laughs> yeah, um, Lisa and Roscoe, thanks. I seen your comment about you working. I didn't get to respond back, but it's awesome. We know people have to work. Uh, do Julius Brown. Um, so, but yeah, it'd be great. The more the merrier at these. I think we're supposed to get out, aren't we? Blurry. Oh my god, my gun hurts so bad. I'm thirsty. I'm very thirsty. I just got a free ticket in the back. I'm just going to Oh yeah, there was quite a few people that Devin said came from Canada. Yeah. So that was pretty cool. Money. So you want to talk? Ask, did they want to talk to anybody for Innovative Marine? We could talk to Steve Young. 
Do you guys want to talk to anybody from Innovative Marine? They're all for all Wrinkle Dental Challenge, everybody that got Innovative Marine Tank. My arm is sore. I've been live for an hour and 25 minutes. Oh, you have? <laughs> Forever. I need that. Even with a selfie stick, though, I think my arm would still hurt. Fall off. Me. They're chanting me. Jamie, her arm uh, for you guys. <laughs> so send some super chats. <laughs> right. Um, it's tied for you guys. They couldn't be here. <laughs> right. <laughs> Shoot. DC, he just saying <laughs> anything I want. <laughs> you crazy, DC. I say it. I'm panhandling. <laughs> <laughs> Show DC, your leg. drink some shots for me. Woo! Who gonna, uh, oh, that's Click Clack. Yeah. Send some money. Jamie Send some money. I'll, I'll take a shot for you, Click Clack. <laughs> I'm not doing, what's the guy, uh, hit, uh, what was the name? What? The guy tore up on the last stream. Is it hit Gunner? Hit 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 I ain't going that way. <laughs> <laughs> that was Where's he at? Has he been around? He had that baby, man. It's a wrap. Oh, he had a baby? That had to be oh, yeah, one of the funniest how... live streams. Man, he, that dude that went to the bathroom so... and didn't come back. <laughs> <laughs> no, remember he fell down? Long live hitter. On live. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's, that's a funny guy. Well, we got to meet him for sure one day. So I think this mic was a good thing. Yeah, I'm glad I brought it. Yeah, otherwise you hear a lot of the background noise. It's all blurry. So they're about to do the um, banquet now. I think um, so. We're not, I don't think nobody's going to I got to take it to the banquet. So I don't know if I'm going or not, but oh, $20 super chat for James Mike, Arm. <laughs> Mike the Reaper. <laughs> Thank you. Always throwing them super chats. Oh, that's cool. It shows it up at the top. I don't know if I ever seen it before like that. I got tickets to the banquet, right? No, we don't. We don't have banquet tickets, but if you guys want to see, there's the banquet going on inside. Starts at 7. So you buy separate banquet tickets. And I don't know what they do because we've never actually went, but food and drinks and I don't know whatever else. So. What? I want you to show them the oh. bank and, and let them know. No, they can come in. So you see the roped up area? Where? Tell, them, tell them this is the banquet. This is what they're missing. Hold on, let me clip this back on, guys. This is nice. I was just saying we didn't have tickets. Don't need tickets. So what is that? That's the bar area. Yeah. Hey, Bar they, they, area. They definitely Show them how nice it looks. Kessel. Check out the ceiling. Followed by Kessel. You can do that too. Oh. That place looks nice. Yep. So I guess. I'm not I guess that Kessel um, put on this banquet. So. This is pretty cool. It is very nice. <laughs> what? Wife took my car for the week. <laughs> so there's a peak. Looks like they already got salads out. This is very, very nice, guys. What to... It's, this is the West Gate. West Look at the food. Look at the food. Yeah, Zoom in on the food. It's <laughs> what they're missing. Whoa. I don't know how to zoom. How long have you been streaming? Too long, guys. An Too hour long. and a half. Too long. I don't know. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Tell D. I told DC I'm eating crispy rice this week. <laughs> That's poor people food. 
and yeah, he said his wife took his card for the week. That click clack. How's the clowns from re yeah. one of them survived, not the other one didn't. It was like ten dollar clowns for um, Wyoming whites. I think that was it. Yeah. Well, you guys got a sneak peek at the banquet. I don't think we're staying. No, we're probably not staying. We're not. So, can I get a drink from here? Uh, we're gonna go. Uh, yeah, I'm thirsty, like beyond. Well, we'll stop out here. Actually, uh, everybody dressed up. That. I don't see you. <laughs> Mike the Reaper. I don't see you tonight. Absolutely. Yes. Yes. Hopefully, maybe we'll find you. Yeah. Bye. All right. All right, Chris. We don't want to be like throwing anybody out of here. We love guys. <laughs> throwing anybody out. <laughs> It's Vegas. Just set out a machine if you're thirsty. Give Jamie a drink. <laughs> Press passes. Is he coming? Yeah. Well, I might uh, go ahead and get off of here, guys. <laughs> There's Tulio. There he is. Right there, Breathe <laughs> right himself. Thank God. The best blue lights ever. Best blue lights ever. <laughs> and we're not paid to say that. That's the truth. <laughs> yeah, he doesn't have free lights. Hey, don't forget, to, don't forget, I'll give you that 20 bucks I owe you. Oh, okay. <laughs> Appreciate it. There goes my name. <laughs> In the Yeah, I know. No, no alerts went out. No notifications. So. On the live stream. Go to all you can eat buffet. I'll turn this around so you guys can see a little bit. Oh, it got warm. We hit a heat wave. Thanks for sharing the experience. No problem. How are you, Teresa? Yeah. Everybody moved from the banquet to here, I guess. Holy cow, that sun. The sun is shining. CJ! You know what I didn't really think about is the music in here, so... I don't know if that you guys can hear that or not. I don't even know what song that was, but... But... I shared everything for the last hour and a half of the day with you guys. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Oh, here's somebody that got married walking this way. There was somebody singing, so I don't, I wasn't sure, but there's a married couple. We've seen quite a few bride and grooms walking around. Yeah, this is where the hangout tends to be. So, lots of machines, lots of places to spend your money. Those heels look painful. I didn't even see them. <laughs> but all right, I guess I'm going to go back over here and hang with them. You guys have a great rest of your day. Thanks for hanging out. If you forgot to hit the thumbs up, hit it on the way out. And we will catch you guys. We head home in the morning, so pray for a safe flight. We'll be back home by 5 p.m. tomorrow. So see you all later and have a great rest of the day. Bye-bye.